I just want to have a really quick discussion. Does anyone have any highlights or lowlights of 2016 that they want to talk about? I, I think quickly, um, the Fort McMurray fire was a low point for the problems, a low point for people in Fort McMurray, obviously. Mm. In some ways, it was a high point politically because you saw the opposition and uh, the government working together. Of course, as you mentioned in the quiz, uh, Brian Jean was as an MLA for Fort McMurray. He lost his house in the fire. But you saw the Premier and uh, Brian Jean together on the podium at times you know, to talk about how to, to help people in Fort McMurray. Also, I thought it was a, a point politically where the Premier really came into her own. Um, I asked her that question yesterday in the year end, and she said, you know, the fire is not about me. But I think the point is that politically, uh, she was some. She did a, an amazingly good job during that fire. People looked mm. to her for leadership at, at a very dark time in the province in 2016. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, I, for me, that was the story of the year for very personal reasons. Fort McMurray is where I grew up. My family and friends were on that highway trying to get out of that city. And so the reaction from the provincial government was very important for me. And for all the reasons that Graham said, uh, I, I think that this province had learned a lot from the Slave Lake fire uh, in how people were treated. It was amazing how Alberta and Canada came together and it showed just how deep, for how many people have connections to Fort McMurray across the country. And uh, it, that story I think it's important to remember is still going on. There are still uh, communities up there that have not been rebuilt, still people whose homes are, are and they're still trying to sort out all kinds of things at the local level. It's very, very complicated. Um, but yeah. that obviously, yeah, for me, that was the the story but i also think that this year from a government perspective last year we were watching the ndp thinking okay well they're kind of talking about all these vague things but like where are the specifics how are you actually going to implement this kind of stuff about your your big environmental plan and and this year we started to see the details of that uh fine like the details they rolled out on all kinds of fronts the actual how it will work and the mechanics and I think 2017 will year will be see like okay so this is your theory about how it all work how does it actually work yep. so it was a, it was a year where we actually started to see the 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 meat I guess on the bones of their policy. Paula? I would say I mean a high point for this government, you know, it, it began with the federal NDP convention here where Rachel Notley came out on that stage and repositioned her narrative as the champion of Alberta and as the champion of oil sands development. And I think a lot of jaws dropped across the country. I think a lot of jaws dropped in that NDP convention room. Uh, and I think that was the beginning of a recrafting of the NDP storyline, which paid off uh, just now with the, uh, you know, with the gov federal government's approval of the, pipe, the Trans Mountain Pipeline and the Line 3 to Wisconsin. Uh, and I think, as Sarah said, you know, I, I really wondered, you know, at a certain point if all of this social license rhetoric was ever going to pay off for them. But I think she actually did a remarkable job of creating a new uh, through line for, for herself and her government. I would say the low point for them uh, has been their handling of the child welfare file. Um, I mean, mm. in some ways, it was a high point for seeing the legislature coming together, uh, for seeing the opposition parties coming together to stand up a and speak out for kids in care, but very disappointing to see the way the government has handled that. I think the other big provincial story of the year it was Jason Kenney's decision to uh, come into the race. Uh, it was a high point for conservatives, small c, in this province. And the low point for that has been, uh, it's been a year where, in part thanks to sort of the leeching toxic vapors from across the border uh, from, from the Trump campaign. We've seen a debasing of political rhetoric in this province, you know, with the coup d'etat, which is pre-Trump, um, with the death threats against Shannon Phillips, with the kinds of, you know, horrible abuse that uh, Sandra Jansen had to endure. Uh, and that's, I think, been the low point for political discourse in this province, the lowest point it's hit for a very long time.